Welcome back, you legends and larrikins. We're back with the Wild Winter Homestead. Now, as you can see, we spent a little bit of money on a solution to a problem that we had in the last episode. Also, I would like to mention before we begin, <sighs> the quality, okay? I'm trying to work on the quality. I'm hoping this time I've got it nailed. I've fucked around with OBS and all sorts of things, trying to get it working, trying to get it looking mint. I look back on those other episodes, it's actually, you know, you guys are watching, and I do appreciate, but I just feel so bad, they look terrible. My God! But uh, hopefully I've got it dialed in. I know I say that every time, but each time I'm just working on getting it better and better. Now, you may also hear the rooster in the background. <sighs> I live on a farm in real life. And I have five roosters run free range around the home paddock here. And like 30 hens. More. So... You're going to hear them. They, they hear my voice when I start recording and then they come running, all right? So if you hear that spilling through the mic, I apologize. Just have a laugh about it, all right? That's what I have to do at this point because there's nothing I can do to stop them. So anyway, another thing I want to say is a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed. We've got like 180, 180 of you legends out there now. 180 people. That's amazing. I never thought I'd... Honestly, I never thought I'd hit 100. Anyway, so a massive heartfelt thank you. Let's get the fuck on with it. Now! As you can see... Oh! Wrong one. As you can see, down the bottom right, we need fuel. And we also need to service this old rig. It's done a lot of work for us so far. I mean, just look at how goddamn sexy it is. Man, it gives me a stiffy. Got a honey... My brain will work eventually. I'm gonna say, I've got a rock hard stiff. Now, let's fuel up. Boom, how much that costs? 111 bucks. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, about this Husqvarna here. This is the solution to our problems. I actually have this mower in real life, or one very similar to it. Um. And it's a piece of goddamn shit. All right. Husqvarna products. The chainsaws are right, but everything else is fucking garbage, all right? Let me just start by saying that. But this is a solution to our problem that we had in the last episode. And yes, I spent some of the farm's budget on it, but I think it's going to work out in the long run. I want to get that grass clip up. I want to mow the area. And that's what we're going to do in this episode first, ladies and gentlemen. All right, strap in. We are starting this up. Now, let's get ready. If you listen real carefully, put your ear up close to like a window or open the windows to get outside. You can hear Greta Thunberg cry when this thing fucking fires up. Are you ready? Let's put it in neutral. Oh, yes. My God, look at the Cheech. Oh! Oh! Greta is literally vomiting and shitting her pants right now. Okay, let's get this shit show underway, shall we? We're gonna go some first person driving as we get on home. And we're gonna service this vehicle as soon as we get home. I've got the supplies. Actually, do I have the supplies? I don't think I picked up the supplies. <gasps> we got to pick up the supplies first, ladies and gentlemen. Now, look at these awesome Mafia mods we got here. All right. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. I love this. All right. We're going to pick up. We need an oil pan. So we're, you know. I don't mind pissing Greta Thunberg off a bit with a bit of cheech, but don't put oil in, the, in your soil, ladies and gentlemen. All right. It's just not cool. Um, actually, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. We got to get some oil. That's right. No, not ATF. We need some D6, heavy duty diesel. And we also need a Wix oil filter. There we go. Look at that. 
We'll go pick these up. Now, I am going to buy some shelving too, actually. And we'll get some other oils while we're at it, because you never know when we're going to need 360 bucks, actually. Never mind. We're not going to do that. We are going to get an empty shelf for 60 bucks and just buy it as we need it. There we go. Now, let's go pick it up. Hopefully, we've got room in the... In the, uh, you, we should do. Not, I could probably put the oils in the cab here. I wonder if that'd work. Actually, we should give that a try. Now it is winter, but everything's still looking pretty green. So it's been a very warm December. But uh, I'm expecting the snow any day, honestly. And that's going to make our lives a lot harder. Now, we're open. Okay, can we fit this in? Lift! Ugh, bend the knees! Where are you gonna fit? Here? Ugh. Whoa! Don't scratch the paint any more than it already is. This may not fit. Oh yeah, here we go. Bang! Keep an eye out for the cops. <laughs> I don't want them to see that now. Let's get this. Can I pick this up? I can. I'll tell you what, I love you modders, man. This is so fucking cool. <laughs> Just the fact that we can do this is... Oh! Where'd it go? Hello? Um... Let's have... <laughs> Where the fuck did it go? <laughs> um, okay. Well, I don't know what happened there. I guess we can't do that. We'll just just imagine that that didn't happen. Get this filter. See if it does the same thing. Hold still now. Put it in the back here. You can roll around. Need this oil pan. It said... Need this oil pan. All right, and that's all the supplies we need, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to roll. Let's get back up to the homestead. Now, hopefully, we're going to be building a house by the end of this episode. But we'll see. We've got a lot more logs to move. we got a fair bit of driving to do and go pick up some... Uh, we've got to go pick up our stairs and banisters and some planks and things. So there's going to be a lot of driving in this episode. Let's cut through the further station. Uh, there's going to be a lot of driving. Now, let me just make sure. Forgive me. There we go. Everything's working. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I did record a bunch of Skyrim stuff with uh, Reginald Skeeverfist. Uh, and I have unlisted those videos because the ter the quality was just so bad. I couldn't take it. I had to bring them down. And I'll... I've just been having no end of dramas with the Nolvis mod pack. I really, really want to do some Skyrim um, footage because it's hilarious the things that can happen. Do permanent hardcore, but unfortunately, recording it, OBS freezes when I try to record it. The game constantly crashes. Um, it's not too bad actually. I shouldn't say it constantly crashes. The, the mod is stable in terms of crashing. Where it's not stable is it will randomly break. Um, where you can't go into the first person. You can't pick anything up. You can't like interact or buy anything from the shops. And I don't know what to do about it, honestly. I've looked up solutions, you know. I've torn my hair out about it. At the end of the day, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. So... I've got to have a look at Wabberjack and put my faith in it, I think, and look for a different a different pack to do. Unfortunately, I really want to do Nolvis because it's cool as. I love what they've done with it, but it just doesn't work. Oh, it works for the first hour, and then it just falls to pieces. Anyway, let's get on up here. That's enough of that rambling. You know, we'll go into third person now. 
Look at that. It's beautiful. I love this game. Love this map. It kind of makes me feel a bit guilty though. Like I should be out on my farm doing this in real life. But hey, I just want to bring some joy to all your hearts. I'm just kidding. You can fuck off. <laughs> just joking. I love you. Now, I do other videos as well. Um, some real life stuff. My most popular one is working on the Ranger chucking a thing on there but I also do beer and jerky reviews alright they're not real reviews as such I mean they kind of are they're more focused on having a laugh so go and check them out right? I've just released the first Bogan Feeds episode and for you Americans I know a lot of you Americans are watching hello my brothers and sisters uh Bogan in Australia is like a hillbilly to you okay and I live like a hillbilly out in the hills on a farm by myself I grow my own shit I've only got one tooth I use it to open cans with you know so hence the name of the channel Bill Hilly Boganery that's right it's sort of a best of both worlds scenario but a bogan is just like your American hillbilly anyway History lesson out of the way. We are home, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to clear this paddock here, and we're going to put in another greenhouse. We have to. I've got to sell some lumber to make a bit of money. That's fine. Um, and then another greenhouse is going straight up. All right. Now, how am I going to get this mower off? Undo the straps there. Keep the motor running. Oh, actually, no. We, before I forget, we got to uh, service this thing, don't we? Let's get them this mower out of the way. We could probably sell this actually to make a bit more mo money. You can go there. Let's fire this up. Get it out of the way. The old Kubota. Now, hopefully, my yes, my reverse is finally working too. Now, I sorted out all the steering issues I had in the last episode as well, so there's no excuse for my idiot driving now. Alright, put that there. It can just remain idling. Let's get this shelf out. <laughs> oh, bend the knees. There we go. Now. As for you, what are we, what are we going to do about you? Hmm. Let's try some hillbilly shit. <laughs> this is probably going to end bad. Okay got an ID, ladies and gentlemen. I've got an ID. Line it up. Whoa, shit. Only forward. Come up. I think I'm angled wrong. Let's go back. Forward. Angle. <laughs> this is going to end really bad. You can already tell. Alright. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's give this a try. Oh shit, we've got to get that oil pan out of the way. Now back it up said back it up am I stuck what's going on we're stuck already oh I mean fucking there we go there we go oh shit whoa got the wigs filter too 
All right. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Get ready. Oh! Uh oh. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's get off. Oh, I found the oil too. All right. <laughs> oh no, that's going to tip, isn't it? All right. Can we lower it down gently? It's Husqvarna, so it's probably going to break. Oh shit! Whoa. I turned the sensitivity up on my thing a little bit. I may have, I may have gone too far. Come on now. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think. Come on. I don't know why that front wheel is still stuck. Get off there! Yeah! Boom! Done! Alright, yeah! Our new toy. I'm not sure why everything we own is orange, but it is. Put the Kubota over here. Turn it off. Get this out of the way. Alright. Whoa, shit. Get you up here, get ready to mow. Now, this will catch the clip, so hopefully it can pick up. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let's give it a shot before we uh, do anything more. I don't have access to this land. What do you mean? I fucking own this land. What are you talking about? Something glitch out? Why? What the fuck? Um. What? It reckons I don't own the land anymore. Well, we're gonna have to fix that up, ladies and gentlemen. Right now! How much was it? 500 and... Because I definitely own this land. Um. 527648. 527648. Alright, excuses. It's not cheating. I, I do own this land. I'm not sure what the fuck's going on. Let's get it. Ridiculous. Okay, there we go. We're back to where we were. Now! Are you going to work? Yes, you are. Will you pick up what I've got? How do I do this? Lower pickup V. Is it working? There we go. Excellent. Excellent, so I can pick up my clip. Fantastic. Alright. We'll come back to that soon. Right now, I want to service the Ford. Because we're going to need it today. It's got some work to do. We've got to go pick up some pallets and drop off some lumber and do all sorts of things. So... Let's get the oil shelf. Uh, I said on the shelf. <laughs> so awkward. Boom. Anyway, we're about to use it, so about to use it all up. Now, I dread to think how much this service is going to cost us. We're okay. We've got plenty of lumber we can sell should we need it in an emergency. Shut it down, the engine's all warmed up, so it's going to be easy to drop it. Let's get this going. Okay, break the laptop out of the caravan. There she goes. Start up the Jenny. Beautiful. Alright. Now, oh shit. Two grand. She needs some parts, but that's... Oh, damn, that's expensive. That's alright. We need it. The rig is important to us. Why can I... 
Okay, that's weird. Get some more shells. I mean, more oils and stuff. Oh, that's 300 bucks. Now, actually. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> All right. My brain. Now, stop engine. We don't need the Jenny now. We can leave the laptop out. That's fine. And we'll hook up the trailer. Beautiful. Just look at us go here. Um, get that Wix filter out. The old filter. Been used and abused. Boom. Back it up. Now, we may have to take the uh, log arms off today too, so... We've got a busy day ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. A busy, busy day. But I wanted to do something other than logging for you all, because uh, we've done lots of that in the episodes, and I know it's not the most entertaining thing in the world to watch. So let's put up here. Bless you. So we've got to pick up our stairs and stuff, which it means we're going to have to take the Kubota. So, let's get that done now. Get these log arms down. Where are you? Flatbed, there we go. It's ready to go. That doesn't cost us any money. Fantastic. Alright, there we go. We've got our... Oops. Whoa, easy now. We've got our trailer ready to go for later. Okay. Get it up here out of the way. And now... It's time for some mowing, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Yes! Where we're going to put the clip, I'm not sure. But, uh... Actually, that is probably something we should think about. Where, what are we going to do with this clip, ladies and gentlemen? Hmm. What are we going to do with this clip? How much does bunker cost? A lot, probably. It's hard deal. It's not what we want. Okay, it's not in there. It must be a silo, sorry. How much for a silo? Eight grand. A lot. Okay. Hmm. What else? What's another cheap option? Probably yeah, everything is beyond our price range at the moment. We've got a lot of silos. <laughs> um. These bales. Fire gas. How much is that? Five grand. That's a manure pit, though. That's what we need. That's 15 grand. Shit. Okay, we can't afford anything. That We're probably just going to have to dump it for now. Let's get mowing, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Uh, is that on? Is pick up the shit. Now, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do about all this wood shit. My plans in the last episode failed, obviously. But, uh, we'll figure something out. Beautiful. Now, this is money right here, so... Hmm. Any ideas? You know what? Any ideas, leave it down in the comment. I guess comments. We can always pick it back up. Alright? I guess. I think. Leave it down in the comments what you think I should do about this grass issue. Because I could always hire a, um, 
bale up, I guess. Bale up some grass. You never know. Never know. You'll have to tell me what you think. What you reckon. There's always problems we're running into on a homestead. And if you live in one in real life, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There's always problems. That's half the fun of living a life like this. Like we do. Yeah, oh, there we go. We're nearly full. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, so now let's just see if where we can dump this. But now, they're over here in the woods somewhere. Let's see if I can dump it, or whether you have to. Uh, I can dump it here. Sweet. Oh shit! Oh, what? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Um. <laughs> oh, we got shovel. Um. Hmm. Scratch his head. That's a a lot of grass that come out of that little. <laughs> little thing. We're gonna have to do something about this, aren't we? No, make a pile. Make a pile. Make a pile. ADHD, you're not beating me today. No, sir. Let's get on with it. Get back to the grass here. Now, the mower's not on. We're just picking up. But we are going to be mowing. Don't worry about that. I want to clear the site for the new... You, uh, greenhouse. That's one thing I did learn in the last episode, ladies and gentlemen. To make this a viable, we're going to have to really crank up the production. And so we can buy a, uh, so we can buy a drying shed. Look at us go. Now there's nothing I can do about the sticks and stuff on the ground. They're a custom texture for this map. So I've tried painting them, I've tried doing everything. They're just they're part of our life now. Part of our life. It's alright. No map is perfect, we'll say. No map is perfect. And speaking of that, there is some awesome looking mods coming out. Um, I saw an Australian No Man's Land one. That looks... That could be real fun to do a playthrough on of some kind. Um, you let me know what you think. Again, write it down in the comments. Tell me what you think of doing maybe a playthrough like that. Boom. Alright, now let's clear this field. Now, we're going to have logs and stuff in the way. That's fine. Uh, that's lowered. Oh, okay. I've got to go back to this and then do this. There we go. Now, I am, again, using the steering wheel. So, this is... Oh, you're joking. Is it mold? Oh, what's going on? starting to rain, ladies and gentlemen. We might not be mowing for much longer. Uh, lower mower. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's at least tidy up a little bit before it gets too wet. The mower just gets clogged up. Look at the weed growing in there. Oh my god. Just beautiful. 
a couple up and downs. It's a shame that the rain had to start right now, that's a bit of a pain. Um, why aren't you picking up the clip? I don't have access to this thing. What the hell is going on? mean I don't have access to this lane? What the hell is going on? I must be over my boundary. Oh, wow. Okay. There you go. I've actually built outside of my boundary. So we're not going to be able to tidy that up. That's alright. These are just the growing pains of doing a map like this. Doing a playthrough like this. Just some growing pains, ladies and gentlemen. Never you mind! Alright? It's going to happen. Now I am just showing things as they unfold. I'm not doing edits in these videos like I used to do back in the day. They're all just raw and uncut. Sexy. Okay, so it's good to know that our land actually ends here. Right there. still cut the grass though, we just can't pick it up. So, which means it's going to leave shitty looking things in the snow, but that's alright. That's fine. I'll get the tractor one day and scrape it clean anyway, because it's going to be in between the... Uh, Greenhouses. Here we go. Really cool. Quite. Look at this go, ladies and gentlemen. Getting work done now. Hopefully, it's looking much better for you guys. As I said before, I'm keeping on tweaking it. But it's, uh, you know, I'll get there one day. It'll be perfect, it'll be crisp, clean, you'll be seeing it exactly as how I'm seeing it. That's the goal, at least. <laughs> Let me know what you think too, if you've made it this far. Write down in the comments there, let me know if maybe the Australian No Man's playthrough, I should get Bushman on and do a multiplayer thing. Where we can be neighbours or something, or you tell me what you think. Because Bushman loves this game too, and we've played it before. You can look at the old series of 20 to 8 contracting. Very early episodes I did on YouTube. Um, with Dazza and Warren, they were good. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious to do. Um, I don't know, old, old Dazza, I mean um, Warren, he won't be back. He's, he's done with this game. Which is unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. You let me know what you think, and Bushman, if you're watching, would you be up for that? We'd have to fuck your lies in our uh, mods uh, and make sure they all work together, and I'd have to pay for a server, but it could be cool to do. Maybe you could have some viewers come on, and that would be awesome to do too. Getting my juices flowing. Yes. But yeah, shameless plug too. If you haven't uh, gone and watched the Bogan Feeds episode, go and watch it. Have a laugh. It's only short. But it'll change your life. Right? And I plan on doing lots more Bogan Feeds. Just quick and easy to do.
hopefully this clip doesn't prevent me from building it too. We're not, we don't really care about building on this land because uh, we're going to own it soon anyway. We're going to have to. We've got a weed empire to build. Yes! <laughs> Cannot wait. My god. Yeah. That looks pretty damn good. Let's get out of this fucking rain. Park the mower under the shelter here, champ. Oh, actually, we've got not spot. Run over our weed. It's fine. It can live like my mo in real life, just outside. Now, let's get out of the rain real quick. And make a phone call. Ugh. Hmm. Nope, wrong one. Let's see how we're going. Okay, we can get one plank from uh, Stevie. Fuck, I can't remember. <laughs> Stevie. Uh, and, um, I'll, I'll, um, is it Bob? Bob down the road here. He's got our staircase ready for us to go. And we still have plenty of wood left over there, so we're going to see what, um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get him keep making these for us. And we're going to sell them, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be a way we can make some money with what we what he has left over from um, what we gave him. So, let's go and pick up our pallet. Boom. Everything else now made by him is just profit. Excellent. All right. Go load up the Kubota. Back out in the rain. Ooh, what's the temperature? Oh, we forgot to look at the temperature today. What is it? 59. Um, freedom units. I don't know how that translates into uh, communist measurement, but... Uh, doesn't matter. And we better put the weights on the back. These could be heavy. Back on. Oh, wrong. Wrong way, asshole. Bucket should move for us, please. Thank you. Okay. Got the. Shit. Got the weights on. Yeah. Gotta remember to go back to this. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's. I don't think we actually bought any weights, so let's do that now. I mean, connected any weights. Let's do it now. It's only a hundred kilo. Okay, we're gonna need more. Um, 700 kilo, that might... Oh, how much are we lifting? Probably close to a ton. Holy shit, 1,200 bucks. Let's go... 300 kilo. Excellent. Um, excuse me? Excuse me! Don't look, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to cheat here. Okay, there we go. That's a bit dodgy. Alright, hopefully that's enough weight that we can uh, pick up banister with. If not, we're going to have to fuckulate it somehow. 
Let's get on. Let's get on. Ooh, this rain. I tell you what. Ooh. Oh, wrong button. There's the 6BT at work anyway. Those ramps out. Fantastic. Bit of a dodgy park. There we go. That's better. Got the engine off. Strap it up. Ugh. No, there. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Now we are going. Where are we going? To the Bannister Man, which I believe is up here, wasn't it? Somewhere. The Wood Turner. He's up there. Okay. And then we've got to go all the way. Where was the other one? Over oh, here. Because he has our... What has he got? Let's have a look. Is he ready for us? He's got that one lot of long planks for us, which we do need. Okay. We might wait until he's got the wooden beams as well. And do it in one run. It's not far off, so tomorrow it'll be ready. But we can drive up there tomorrow and get those. Let's get these lights on because it's getting a bit dark. And hit the road. Let's ride, ladies and gentlemen. We're off into the sunset. Okay. Can't believe our pallets are nearly ready. Awesome. I mean, the house is nearly ready to go up. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be glorious. We won't be living in a caravan anymore. Oh, and I should say, too, before I forget, I want to remember to say this each episode. This wild winter homestead is inspired by a man called James Aloff and his YouTube channel called Wild, The Wild Homestead, where he is building by hand his own log cabin. I know there's lots of those on YouTube, but, and I've watched many, but James is, he's a dude, he's funny. Right? He's wolf milk and stuff, he's, he's a real character. And I recommend, I recommend him highly. Go and check it out. And of course, like and subscribe to him and me it costs you nothing you stinking animals so do it do it now <clears throat> excuse me no I don't mind if it's liking and subscribing is not your thing then you do you brother okay where are we we've got to go left you think I would know this by now left right Right. Probably have to check that five more times before we're finished, but... but it's good to have the ute or the, the truck all serviced and, and looking minty. It's, uh... It's our main workhorse, this thing, and it's, it's just brilliant. One day when we're mega rich from our uh, you know, weed empire, this thing will be retired and put on the shelf. Maybe like a pavilion thing on a podium so that uh, it can be admired as the thing that made our fortune. A right here. Let's be careful not to start sliding. No. 
I am taking it cautious, because if we roll or anything like that, I'm going to have to work it out. Right? There's no one I can call. There's nothing I can do. I can't... I'm not going to cheat and flip the car by itself. I'm going to have to work out how to do it. Which will be very interesting. But yeah, obviously we do not want that to... <laughs> you probably do, you bastards. You're just hoping that I fuck up, aren't you? Another thing I should say too, I've stopped doing Twitch for the main time. Um, and I'm just focusing on just recording these. Although, just doing it live and unedited for now. Uh, yeah, I was, I was getting no one show up for the Twitch. Um, and just, I think it's mainly because of the time slot right, that I can do it in. And I was getting lots of you guys show up for the VODs, which is cool. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, the time I can do these sorts of playthroughs is not friendly, shall we say, with either Australia... Oh, shit! We nearly fucked up there. Um, not friendly with either Australia or uh, American time slots, unfortunately. Now, maybe in the future, YouTube seems to be going, you know, I'm having fun just doing this at the moment. And like doing things like the reviews and the bogan feeds and shit like that. Okay, where we gotta go? We gotta go left. And I'd love to do more car stuff, but it's just so expensive. I'd love to do more Ranger thing, which is my most popular video. I'd love to do... I'd love to put a 3-inch exhaust on, and some new wheels and things like that, but I don't... I can't afford it. It's as simple as that. I make... Abs I make zero dollars from YouTube, of course. A, a tiny, tiny channel, but... Uh, yeah, and I probably never will earn money from YouTube, honestly. I'm certainly not going to endorse anyone or, you know, um, take on YouTube ads and stuff. And I highly encourage everyone out there, if they are listening to this right now, use a goddamn ad block! Goddamn! How can you function without one? Honestly, I don't care, like, you know, money's just, it's just not worth it, like, the ads, man, you know, anyway, highly encourage, use ad blocks, fuck Google and fuck all these people that, you know, I'm less likely to buy your product if I see your ad, let's say that. Huh? I'm a hillbilly, all right. That shit doesn't work for my. Ah, oh, just looking at those fucking ads, it hurts my soul. All right? When you see those gronky fucking families all done up and shit. Ah, oh, here, you know, uh, buy this shampoo. Fuck off. All right? Just fuck off and die. Whoa! And I missed a turn. Come on now. There we go. We're up. We're up. We're fine. Hold your goddamn horses! Oh, there's the pallet. Ready for it. There's the pallet ready to go for us. Oh, damn. Beautiful. That's our staircase, ladies and gentlemen. For the house. Absolutely beautiful. Whoop, let's drop the ramps. Get this unstrapped. Fire this up. Whoa! Easy now. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh, there's a train. 
wasn't even that close to the train tracks. Tell you what, Bobby, not for me, not for me. Let's get this here. Go. It's so hard to line up in third person. Bang! And that's a screenshot right there, I believe, ladies and gentlemen. Where? Somewhere here, anyway. Hmm. Fair forward. Again, you're going to see these live, hopefully. That bush is kind of in the way. What about if I go, like, over here? I'd like to get the truck in the screenshot too, but I don't think that's going to happen. What do you reckon? Is that a good screenshot? Probably like that. That looks better. Boom! done. You can probably see that in the thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's get this up. Strap down the wheels. Do say the magic words. That's going bloody nowhere. Alright. Oof. Heavy. Okay, let's get back home. Let's not drive over that in case it tries to sell our shit. Beautiful. Now we're not going the long way this time. I'm going to go back through the woods. Oh. No wonder I'm struggling. I was in third gear. There we go. Let's go some first person driving. Oh, get out of that rain. Have a seat next to me here, ladies and gentlemen, on the finger bang bench, and I promise I won't finger you. Or will I? <laughs> I'm just joking! Calm down. Fox Farms in there. We'll probably be utilising that one day very soon. Actually, maybe we should go the long way. Nah, fuck it. Let's go back through the woods. This is our turn off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm trying to wind the window down, but... Ugh. Ugh. Shut the door. There we go. We may struggle getting back up some of these hills. We'll be okay. Okay, the old Ford, she's tough. She's built. Ford tough. That's right. Now, am I even going the right way? I believe so. We should be coming up to a right-hand turn. Still in second, so let's give it the gas. Get up this hill. Hang on! No, we're fine. Come on, old Ford. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. She's spinning. She's spinning. Did I take the right turn, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, come on. She's struggling a little bit. Tell you what. We've made it. We've made it. We're okay. Oh, shit. Is that our turn? That may have been our turn. Let's have a look. That's the wrong button. Where are we? Nope, we've got to keep going, okay. Does a big hook. Not this one either. Oh, is it this one actually? Yeah, it's this one. 
Let's not get lost in the woods and become Sasquatch's little sex doll. Ooh. Last thing we need is an ass full of sassy jizz. My god. Your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled, chat. Fucking Sam Squamch. Alright. Fucking Sam Squamch, you dirty bastard. <laughs> That's my uh, terrible bubbles impersonation. There we go. Straight on now. Straight on. Oh shit. We're gonna need a second. Come on. Easy. Easy. Gotta give it the gas sometimes. We've got plenty of gas now. We've just fueled up, so we're all good. We're all good. Need to panic. Huh? The mud won't slow us down, no sir. Now, I do have the mud mod on, so. Um. We could get fucked. I think that is our turn, actually. Check. Beautiful. Bloody beautiful. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have this video out before the weekend. I'll try. But I'm going to Pantera in Sydney, in Shitney. Oh, God. The city. Ugh. I hate the goddamn city. I used to play in bands, and we'd be playing in Sydney most of the time, and... God damn! Hated it. Loading and unloading gear in the fucking main street, trying to get into the valve bar. Ugh! A nightmare! But, uh... Come on, girl, you can do it! Get up! Get up! Ugh. But, it's, uh... Oh, shit. That could be our turn there, too. Why do I keep pressing M? Ugh! That is our turn. Shit. Alright, back it up. Back it up. Okay. Full power! FULL POWER! Yes! Tell you what, the old Ford, she's a beast. She is a beast. Slow beast, but powerful. That 6 BT, you know, just thumps. Alright, let's go into third. Beautiful sunset out there today. Just beautiful. Alright. Uh, nope. Straight on. But as I was saying, heading to Sydney uh, for the Pantera show with old Zach Wild and Charlie Benente instead of the Abbott Brothers, R.I.P. fellas. We are making a trip to Texas this year. That's why I have no money to do anything else. Any cent I make is going to the Texas trip. And we're going to go and have a black tooth by Mr. Dimebag. Daryl and whoop, is this our this is not our turn off uh, by Vinny and Dimes Grave yeah this is our turn off have a black tooth by Vinny and Dimebag's Grave we'll see you there American Brothers uh, 20 years this year since the death of dime and uh, we plan to celebrate it the way we know how by drinking copious amounts of alcohol yes sir going to Texas so if any of you Americans see this wanna uh 
on a party, you fucking let me know down the bottom there. The comment section. That would be rad. Hanging out with subscribers in Texas. Fuck yes. That'd be a dream. Dream come true, I tell you. Now. How far are we? Can't be too far. Oh shit. Starting to slide. Oh fuck. I think we just hit a mud patch. Let's get in a second. Is this our driveway? No. Next one. It's been a few days since I've played, so... I'll get used to it eventually. We won't have to keep switching to that map. Alright. In we go. Fantastic. Put our staircase to the... S Actually, we'll leave it on the truck tonight, have a snooze and uh, get it off in the morning. Carry on with our day. Probably end the episode there. And, uh... Yeah, next time we'll carry on with uh, mowing and... Uh, what else are we doing? Logging and things like that. I wanted to do a bit, something a bit different this episode. For you guys, instead of logging. Alright, let's just park it right there. Shut it off. Turn the lights off so we don't flatten the battery. Get out! <coughs> oh, it's getting dark. Get the flashlight. The old flashlight, you know. We're about to give it a good old thrashing as we go to bed here. Let's, uh, oops, let's pack away the laptop. Oh, and get on to bed, yes. Well, that'll do that right there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll pick it back up again soon, don't worry. I'll have this episode out as soon as I can. I'll, you know what, I'm going to get it out before I go. That's my goal in life. So, you'll be seeing this before, and... The next episode will definitely be when we get back after the Pantera show, and I'll probably have lots to say. But, uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes anyway. Maybe I'll squeeze out another one tomorrow before I leave. We'll just see. Fortunately, this one's a bit shorter. i got to go. Remember, like, subscribe, tickle my pickle, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers!